Freedom's the answer. What's the question? You are listening to Ernest Hancock. Welcome back to Declare Your Independence with me, Ernest Hancock. Special guest, Brad Freeman. It's always fun to talk to Brad because he gets to use all his rhetoric, you know, and I get to use mine, go hardcore. And things that really surprise him would be things like, uh, so you're against the Constitution? I'm against any collectivization rule me kind of thing. I mean, this is like a shock to anybody. It's just when they say the promise of government is we're here to protect your rights and we're going to you know, follow these rules and here, here's the contract that we got. And then we violate it every single day, all of them, all the time. And I'm going, at uh, what point does this contract become null and void? When does that happen? When, when, when does that happen? Now, I'm going to re- read a quick paragraph here, okay, Brad? I want mm-hmm. you to comment on it. This is sure. from uh, Justin Ramondo from antiwar.com. And behind the headlines, he writes a column, The Revolutionary Wave, Tunisia, Egypt, Yemen, is the West next. <clears throat> it started, of all places, in Tunisia, a land of sunny beaches and sleepy walled cities, the first stirrings of a revolutionary wave that before its... Crested, as I guess what it says, crested may reach American shores. The spark flared first in the small town of Sidi Balzid in central Tunisia, where Mohamed Bazizi, a 26 year old graduate student, was accosted by the authorities for selling produce in the souk, the equivalent of a farmer's market, without a license. Balzizi, like many in emerging economies, could not find a job in his field or any other field, and so was forced to resort to hawking olives and oranges to support his family of eight. The officials reportedly humiliated him, and when he went to the city hall to try to go legal, they wouldn't even let him in the door. There are the circumstances that led to his now famous act of self-immolation. In protest, and in full view of passers-by, he stood in front of City Hall, poured lighter fluid on himself, and struck a match. This spark set off a prairie fire, fire still burning its way across the Middle East. Now, this is my point. This is exactly the conditions by which we are finding ourselves here in the United States, and it will be the same principles that will be sparking mine canaries dropping all over left and right because they will find themselves up against a government that will not allow them to sustain themselves without permission from the government. And it will get to the point that this kind of stuff will happen. Oh, actually, I would uh, I would quibble only in that uh, I don't believe that that was the only spark. I believe that our freedom of the press enshrined in the Constitution and uh, acted out via WikiLeaks was also the spark for what happened in Tunisia. That said, why haven't you set yourself on fire yet, Ernie? What? It doesn't sound like I'm on fire? Uh, no, <laughs> it doesn't. And it's nice to talk about setting oneself on fire and acting like you are metaphorically on fire. It's another thing to set yourself on fire. And if you believe that that is the way we will have uh, uh, more freedom in this country, um, where you know, light light the match, my friend. What's what's you know hold up? It's it's been lit since beginning of humanity. You know this whole concept that. We have a different battle that we're waging now that somehow things are different. It's the same battle it's always been. There are, there are those that just want to be left alone, and there are those that just won't leave them alone. And they'll use all kinds of reasons and, and all kinds of justifications and all kinds of noble causes to justify why it is that they're going to take by force that which is mine and give it to somebody or something else for some great because reason. you don't want to be just left alone. Uh, I, I think you don't. So. You say it all the time, but you don't mean it. If you did, you wouldn't be taking advantage of the, uh, of the government Internet to broadcast your message. You wouldn't be taking advantage of government electricity 
to do that. You I wouldn't, wouldn't be driving be drinking, on the roads. I wouldn't, wouldn't be drinking the water. I get it. You wouldn't be drinking the government water. I mean, these are all facts, Ernie. So, it, you know, it's great rhetoric, but it's not realistic. If it was realistic, you, sir, would be setting yourself on fire. Brad, would you allow the concept that I should be allowed to build uh, my own road, uh, allowed to have a satellite to do communications separate from the Internet, allowed to be able to broadcast on the airwaves, allowed? I mean, am I allowed? Not where it infringes on my right uh, to have liberty and freedom. Agreed. Agreed. Now, amen, brother. You know, if I can communicate, if I can grow, I mean, I'll give you an example. When the S five ten, I tell you but what, you can't have, but you can't broadcast on the internet without the government creating the internet in the first place. Well, I can broadcast out of my backyard over the airwaves. Oh, g- good well, luck getting a license to do that. We I, have a kind very of my, lim- kind of my point. <laughs> we have a very limited uh, uh, amount of bandwidth, no, and don't. therefore it no, does need to be overseen okay. by the federal all government. Right. All right, so I I know you you fall on this. Let's go ahead and go to food. When the, I tell you what got me all, uh, you know, amped up, you know, I, I'm, you know, I'm kind of, you know, I'm being nice and I, you know, and it would be better that and so on. Um, the reason that we moved and consolidating my home and Freedom's Phoenix workshop into a two acre little farm in North Phoenix up here is because I know what's coming. When they did this S510 thing, and they are people that know that I've been for two years, we've been learning how to do a little gardening. We have our chickens in the backyard. We're going to get some goats now. We're just <clears throat> want to be left alone. We'll, we'll survive. You, you, know, don't go to the, you don't go to the grocery store at all, right? I'm trying, I'm trying not to. But, I mean, we're, we're learning. You don't go to the grocery we're store learning. at all, right? We're learning. Okay, we're learning. So you allowed, don't go at all? Am I, well, of course I go. Am I allowed well, to learn? Why would you do that? Am I, I allowed you to learn? To be left alone. Am I allowed to learn? So you're using the, the Brad. The, Brad, <laughs> let me finish my point. Okay, good, I'm go ahead. I'm trying to learn how to sustain myself as much as I can. I I, I want the skills. Uh-huh. When S five ten came out and said, you know what, if you have surplus, you're not allowed to sell it. If you have extra, you're not allowed to call, you. You got to get government permission to uh, sustain yourself, and certainly by making anything thing by sharing a surplus with neighbors. You can't have raw milk. You can't do this. You got to get government licensing on the production of food. When they did food, it's all over, man. It's it's out of the bag. There's no there's no compromising anymore. I'm done. We're not we're not playing anymore. So I you're vote against, none. You're, you're against the Food and Drug Administration. Absolutely. Yeah, you don't you don't want them regulating your food no, supply. No. You would rather allow yes. as much poison, toxic food into the uh, food supply as possible. I would allow as much as I'm willing to ingest, and I get to determine. Well, apparently, you're willing to suggest uh, to ingest quite a bit. You're uh, I don't know how old you are, forty, fifty, something like that. You've been uh, eating this uh, government controlled food supply for all of these years. Why have you been doing that, sir? I don't know. I wish I had a choice. Uh, well, you do have a choice. You said you got your two acres, you got your farm. I'm working on it, man. The, I'm working on it. Why don't you get off the food group? Working I'm working on, on it. it. Do it. I'm What's working on it. I, I'm working on it. What? what? How much? I, how much I got to do? What's the holdup? It's, it's not big enough for you. I got to get more acreage. Wait, what well, are you what's going to what, okay. make Brad happy? No. In the meantime, I'm I'm glad you're working on it. And in the meantime, I'm glad you can count on a uh, usually safe government regulated food supply to keep you going until you can figure oh, out how oh, to get oh, off the oh, grid. Oh, 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 you got to help me out on this one, Brad. This Brad and for I, that, I, sir, you are welcome. All right, thank you. I, I, I got to do this one. This one's good. This one's good. Uh-huh. All right. What's amazing to me is that from the progressives, the left, and, and green and so on, I mean, it's like, you know, the environment and uh, uh, climate change and used to be global warming, whatever it is this week. And you have all of these things that we need to be concerned about environmentally. Okay, I'm, I'm hip to that. And then, you know, they have this chemtrail issue comes up. And it's like, you'll have, it's not far away, it's not unseen, it's not some test, it's not, it's like you can see it above your head on a daily basis and it's not an issue. No, 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 that doesn't count. You're crazy right ring conspiracy guys. That, that, that it doesn't matter. It doesn't it doesn't and I and I have to ask someone from the left, why is that? Why is that who, not who, an issue? Who, uh, who are you arguing with? Me? 
No, I'm, I'm, in general, the left does not bring this up. It, it, it's never in the media. It's poo-pooed. It's, do you have it's conspiracy. Peer, do, you, do you have a peer-reviewed scientific evidence to show that uh, these uh, things you're worried about? No, I just want to ask. I just want to ask for it. <clears throat> I just want to see it. I just want somebody to even advocate that we need to have the review. Get, get the, oh. re, you should, of course, review everything. Eternal vigilance, my friend. Okay. Review the science. I'm just wondering. I mean, you know, you, you got All something. All I'm asking for is evidence and then to act on it, not on act on imagination. Phantom, okay, no, I'm, I'm just asking, asking that we even look to see if there's anything there. And it's right there, and nobody ever asks. Uh, they'll ask about everything else, but not that. And I'm going, why? Why, 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 why? why? Okay, well, that was just, you know, I just wanted to get that in there because I found that of interest. Hey, Brad, it's always great for you to be a good sport and come on and us be able to talk about this stuff because, you know, I really do support a lot of the work that you do, and you're a good sport for coming on and, and uh, help make fun of me. Thank you, brother. Mm-hmm. I always enjoy it. Anytime. All right, man. Talk to you later. All righty. We'll be right back with Stuart Rhodes in just a little bit. Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what readers of freedomsphoenix.com get every day. Readers of freedomsphoenix.com are constantly provided the information that detail the real news between the lines of propaganda about government policies and the true relationship we all have with coercive governments. Learn the true condition of our economy, innovations and technological breakthroughs in energy, health, computer science, and space travel. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media, the media that is so last century. Corporate media has evolved into nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but we now have a fantastic alternative. FreedomsPhoenix.com provides constant news updates on the issues that affect our lives in the most important ways. Our liberty and our property are under constant attack, and FreedomsPhoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda while encouraging the participation of our readers. Join us at FreedomsPhoenix.com. That's Freedoms with an S, Phoenix.com. FreedomsPhoenix.com, where the revolution between the ears has already matured. Toured.